These next two videos are not essential, but they are things that I did in class or started in class. In this case, um, this was an assignment, an expanded assignment in one of the data science classes. And um, I have shown how to weave documentation from an org mode to um, various people. If you remember the um, uh, point of such an org file, literal programming file, is that you can use it in three different ways. You can either run the code inside the file, and you have seen some examples of that in other videos, or you can tangle the code into a source code file that then can either be run if it's an interpreted language, or it can be compiled with a compiler language like C. Uh, and the third thing you could do, which is really, really important, hence the word literate, is that you can use it to create really nice human documentation. So I'm going to do these things in two videos. And um, uh, let's start with the uh, inserting the in, inline image in an org mode file. I'm just going to open this uh, section up here and uh, make this into uh, the only section. Um, and uh, I need an image, of course, to add. So let me split the buffer, Control x 2 go down here and see what images I have. And the image I think I'd like to use is the image that you remember um, from, the, uh, um, from the course. So this image I would like to put in here. It's called 5armies1.jpg. Now, um, the problems that we encountered in uh, the classroom and working on the desktop computers is that Windows treats paths quite oddly, which is why I, also working on the Windows computer, have taken to um, putting my images uh, near the um, um, near the file that I'm working in. For example, I'm currently working in this directory. If you look at the echo area, Spring 22. And in that area, I've created a, an image directory um, which looks like this. And inside the image directory, I have a bunch of images. And um, when I go and uh, serve these images in GitHub, I export the entire path. So I export, um, for example, everything that you see here below GitHub is exported. And so what I do inside a file, I'm going to use the relative path. Now, how do we do that? Um, you remember from one of the videos um, that if you have a code chunk, um, any form of code chunk like this one for R, you can name the code chunk. You can put some um, option on top of that, call it, give it a name, um, call it chunk. And then uh, anywhere in the file, you can link to it. So it's the same um, syntax. The syntax is double square brackets followed by the name you want to refer to, in this case, chunk. And there I have a link. And if I go to Control C, Control O, I jump to the beginning of the chunk. Okay. Now I don't want to uh, do a uh, code chunk. Um, I can also link, by the way, to references. So sometimes in my um, in my files you see something like um, you know um, Knuth, whatever, 1984, um, and then I can turn that into a link. I do Control C, Control L, and link that to Knuth. And uh, now I have a link here and the link in the same file, I can link to in this way. Um, and if, I, if you see what happens when I go with the cursor over this uh, link and I type Control C, Control O, which just means follow link, um, then, uh, oops, Control C, Control O, I end up in this link down here. And so this function, Control C, Control O, this uh, key binding is tied to a function Going to look at it, Control H, K for key, and then I type Control C, Control O. The function is called um, org open at point. So if this point goes to this uh, chunk, then it's going to open in the code name. If it goes to this uh, reference link, it's going to open uh, at the reference down here. Yeah. So, um, uh, but this is all preliminary stuff. Um, preliminaries on links. It's kind of important though, what you wanted to do for the inline links. That's the next thing you want to, you want to do here. Um, so let's start a new uh, header and do the inline links. Inline image link. And the idea here is the same thing. Remember we have this directory IMG, which is right below the directory we are right now. So if I 
type direct directory the upper buffer i see i'm in spring 22 so uh, i open the link and i type uh, point slash img which means in the current directory go one down to img and then the name of the file five armies one dot jpg you could also copy that but it's a short name so i'm just going to use this here and this is one relative path yeah. i close this what i just did is i closed it with two square brackets and immediately it's turned into a file now um uh, i can now open this with the um with another command, maybe I should write these things down in uh, spring.org. Actually, I'm in this file. So um, uh, you can open the link to the image um, with Ctrl-C, Ctrl-X, Ctrl-Y. Why like that? Looks like that. Ctrl-C, Ctrl-X, Y. Ctrl-C, Ctrl-X, Y. This is a toggling. A toggling um, function and if you cannot remember this remember what you need to do is um, you need to go uh, and look up the key sequence so i go control h a control c control x v and i find out this is the function um or copy visible yeah so i could also type that function mx or copy visible Sorry, that's actually the wrong file. Um, it's I think, CV. Uh, let's check that. Control A is HK. Control HK. Uh, control C. Control X. Control V. That's it. Org toggle inline images. So I used the long, wrong function. So this thing again, and the bu buffer is up here. It can be anywhere, anywhere in the buffer. And I type Alt X, Org toggle. Um, inline images and the image appears. Now, what you notice uh, that the image is a little too large. Of course, I can make the buffer large, but what I normally do is I do two things. I give the image a caption. So I, uh, this is a control character. The, the keyword is called caption. And I type, um, I don't know, um, Hobbit, uh, Hobbit image, Hobbit, the Hobbit um, battle of the five armies i should give a source here a source i don't know what it is i'm going to do ctrl c ctrl x ctrl v again to make it smaller not to be distracted and then below the caption i could also give it a name if i wanted to so the name i could give it a name tag and say um, um hobbit picture and now i can link to it um i'll show you how, the, how that works so copy the link to the image it. And you can see it jumps right to the file. Um, and uh, then what I wanted to do to make it a little smaller, there's yet another control character, which is called attribute HTML. And this works for any form of output to make it smaller or larger. And uh, I can determine the width of the file, which is, I do this in class all the time because I always present from within um, org files and I let's say move it to 500 pixels okay if I now type ctrl c ctrl x ctrl y um, it's quite small you can see what happened here if I want to do it to 800 it looks like that yeah what's nice is actually 600. this is uh, the inline image um, there's no more to be said about that I think so things to remember here is um, maybe uh, you can open links to images. Uh, you can um, embed links to references, files, uh, images, code um, chunks, and so on. So really, uh, what Emacs here does is it operates a little bit like a website. Yeah. And all of that you have at your fingertips. I think that's enough.